Well, good evening, everybody. This is the third of the X3 Albion Prelude videos. Um, in this week's, or months, I should say, we're going to be looking at some of the ways you can make money in the game, aside from what we've already looked at. Looking at some of the locations that I recommend for putting your first station, um, and I'll also look into why I would suggest that. And after that, we'll then give you a quick overview of the new system, uh, the stock exchange system, and uh, how you can also make some horrendous money using that not involving sector traders, stations, etc. Okay, so now having started the game, we are in, I think we're in Roncast Plaza or somewhere like that, I might be wrong. Um, just to explain why there's no sound other than my uh, dulcet turns, unfortunately it turns out that uh, when I was uh, sitting down to record this, I didn't realise that I'd actually internally turned the sound off inside the game. Now, the reason I didn't know this is because the way I'm recording the uh, the video on the Mac is uh, to use uh, Quick Pro, um, and then I use a piece of software which effectively redirects the sound uh, from the internal for, from the uh, built-in uh, speakers um, into the recording software. Unfortunately. Um, it means you can't hear it, and so um, at the same time I was doing it, I didn't realise what was going on. Anyway, that aside, so we're currently uh, potting around, and the first thing I'm going to show you in this video is some of the places that I suggest that you go to build your first stations. Some of the places where there's an obvious gap in the market, it's the kind of place where you're going to make a good profit, and also looking at one or two situations where, for example, the you're not going to have to spend huge and huge amounts of money in order to um, build a station. So, having done that, the first place that you usually will build a station um, in the game, and the place that most of the guides recommend it, is to build a wheat farm in the wall. Uh, wheat farms are fairly inexpensive, and you can see I've got one there. So, oh, it seems that the lady's voice was still on. Um, so building a, a wheat farm in the wall is definitely one of the first things I would do in the game. Wheat farms are usually about 400,000. There are lots of rhymes facts nearby. For example, you will find them in Home of Light, etc. And it's a great place to go and find them. So we're just jumping and uh, we'll pick it back up when we've arrived at our destination. Okay, so here we are. You can see us sitting in front of our uh, wheat farm in the wall, uh, just showing you where it is on the sector map. And if you're unfamiliar with the wall, I'm about to show you, I would imagine, where it is on the uh, galaxy map. There you can see it just to the right of Argon Prime, one of the first gates you'll probably go through. Now, having shown you that, I'm now going to take you to a system where I don't actually have a factory at the moment, but I'll explain why on the way. So we're just about to head to the ore belt. Okay, we're just going to head down and pop over to the ore belt, going through probably the north gate. Now, why am I taking you to the north belt, to the to the ore belt, I should say? Well, there's a very good reason for this. There is a lot of, as you probably know, a lot of asteroids in the ore belt, or etc. But, if you go in, and you go towards the north of the map, and start scanning, and for this you'll need a mineral scanner, You'll look, you can look for, at uh, the various asteroids and look at the various um, yields they give. Now, historically, and you can see where I am, historically there has always been a very, very high yield asteroid in the ore belt for silicon, which usually has a yield rate of about 75, 76. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. So, you, so my tip, if you haven't done it already, is go and buy that, and having done that, go to the ore belt, fly around the north of the map, and have a look for a very, very high yield asteroid. Okay, like I said, unfortunately I haven't built it in this game, but it's definitely something to look out for. Now, going back to the factories I have actually built, we're about to pop over to a boron sector in the middle of the map, a little bit, you know, further into the game in terms of unlocking things, but uh, it's a sector called Lucky Planets, and it has very interesting possibilities, as you'll find out now. Okay, so welcome to Lucky Planets. Now, why have I brought you here? Well, a couple of reasons for this. This is one of the sort of core boron systems in the middle of the map. And what I mean by core is that they are systems that have access to a uh, production yard for uh, factories, etc. A shipyard is what the word I'm searching for. Um, also has access to um, docks, uh, equipment docks, etc. But there's a really interesting thing about Lucky Planets, unlike the systems around it, which is that it's a core system, which when, when you first encounter it in the game, 
is lacking a solar power plant. Now, core systems have a very large number of energy intensive industries, usually weapon production, that kind of thing. And in the systems around them, you will generally also find um, crystal fabs, you know, more industries that require higher amounts of energy. So with that in mind, and you can see from the map where it is, it's um, just down there between Shore of Infinity and Rolk's Legacy. It's a damn good place to pop a, solar, um, pop a solar power plant. And the other advantage of the system is if you're on good relations with the Boron, not only are the Boron solar power plants fairly inexpensive once you've got your rank up, but you don't have to worry about the cost of jumping through any gates because obviously you're buying it and plopping it in exactly the same system as you were previously. Now, I'm just going to have a quick glance at uh, the factories I currently have available. I've only actually got one other available, um, and that is my solar power plant in Argon Prime. Now, again, just like with um, Lucky Planets, Argon Prime, when you first fight, um, encounter it, is a system, a core system, which itself has no solar power plants. Obviously, it has one in the wall. Now, a lot of people might say, well, why bother? The wall's there and you've got tons of energy in it. Um, why would you need more? And my answer to you is, if you actually look at the concentration of solar power plants around Argon Prime, it's actually not very high. And so believe it or not, by building a solar power plant in Argon Prime, as we're about to jump to, and you can see on the map, you can actually make a huge amount of money. And actually the very first thing I would ever suggest you do in the game when you're trying to make money, is when and when you get hold of your first little hauler, is to simply run trade runs between the wall and Argon Prime delivering energy cells because there's always, always a demand. Okay, and so we have now arrived in Argon Prime, good side of the back side of a Titan, which frankly, if you've ever got into a problem with one, is the best part you want to see. You don't want to see the guns. Right, so here we are, pottering around, uh, just going to turn around and head towards our solar power plant. So building on what I was just saying, as I said, yes, there is a large amount of energy in the wall. Yes, um, it's a great way, and it's my, as I said, it's my recommendation that when you are starting out, the very first thing you do is just ferry energy back and forth between uh, the wall and Argon Prime, and also then the surrounding systems, home of light, plenty of energy and intensive industries there. You can see the um, red light, etc. Plenty of stuff's going to need it. Um, but it's just a great investment, and as I said, you don't have the problems as you had with uh, in other systems where you have to transport it. Always try and buy, if you can buy a station and install it in the same system, it's a really, really good idea. Now, that's the end of my little station rant for the moment. Now we're going to talk to you about the Stock Exchange. This is a new and improved addition to Albion Prelude and something that I very much like because it makes you shed loads of money. Right. So you find the stock exchange by going up there and clicking there. And then, well, the one that you really want to go to is to go to the company's uh, situation. Now, you can see here, if you click that, you see um, you can alternate between the shares that you own and the shares that you can buy. You can also alternate between the selling and buying. And the basic idea is uh, when if you, if you go to, for example, to uh, buying, as we are currently now, scroll down. And what you want to look for is you want to look for anything closest to 100. Now, the reason for this is you can see there is a min price, a max price and a current price. And you want to buy at the min price. So the idea is look down and look for anything that is approaching 100. And here we can see you've got around 98, 99. So we're going to wait for a second, have a look down. Is there anything closer to 100? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like that's going to be our best bet, right? That's 99. Now, when you are trying to place a trade, you need to do it pretty quickly. So just going up, you know, 30, 40 at a time, not good enough. So look for um, the amount that you want. Um, obviously, when you start out, you won't have as much. Um, and then type in the number and buy. Now, you can see there, I didn't quite buy at the lowest rate. I It was at 48, 48 is the lowest. I bought at 50. But that's not too much of a problem. So what when, you know, we've lost a little bit of money, but you generally lose a little bit of money on these kind of trades. So what we're now going to do is go back up switch to the own shares option so I can see all the shares I own and now we're going to change from buying to selling and the same principle we're looking for something that is high up that is going to make us a lot of profit you can see there in the green that the profit on the shares I'm making uh, you can also see uh, and this gives you uh, an idea of the kind of total money involved I've got 116 uh, million in invested with over 60 million profit so what we're now going to do is we're going to wait for it to get to a high level and then we're going to hopefully sell it 
Well, that went absolutely totally wrong. I was waiting for it to go above 80, which is generally the limit I set for it, and it never went above flipping 75, so I couldn't be bothered. So in the end, uh, yeah, so you just, once you've got to a level that you want, you will just highlight it, sell it, and then obviously you make uh, the uh, profit on it. As I said, I generally wait until 80. Uh, other people may have at lower limits, but it's a great way of making money. Um, I would actually say it's the best way of money, making money that they've ever introduced in the X series. And with that, that's kind of the end of the video. Sorry there was such a huge delay between this one and the previous one, or such a long time, but enjoy doing it. Hopefully do more, and uh, talk to you guys soon.